He seems to be taking in the sights, the sounds. Mm -hmm. Just having a very good day. Getting get out of the shelter. Come do yeah. a little little fun outing. Oh, yes. very so, small, know. very tiny. Can fit in the palm of your hand. Yes, and you know, P Miss Piggy, uh, if we all know the Muppets, mm. uh, can be seen as more of sometimes the diva of the group. Um, but how is uh, how is uh, Miss Piggy here? This this uh, kitten. Um, how do they do adapting with the other um, cats or kittens at the shelter? What kind of family would it be good for? Yeah, so she had some siblings when we left here today. I don't know how many kittens are still left right. back at the shelter, but um, she was getting along well with them. They were just in a little kittle, uh, kitten cuddle puddle, <laughs> taking a little nap. So she's most likely going to be able to live in any kind of home. So kids, cats, dogs, with a slow introduction, a kitten this age, we expect to be able to adapt pretty easily. Um, and she is pretty sweet, so I definitely don't see any concerns with her. Okay, well, what if this was the first time you were adopting a kitten like Miss Piggy? What are some go-to rules you think everyone should have and should know? Yeah, so kittens, you know, just like any other animal, they're going to take some time, some work and commitment. Um, little baby this age, we want to make sure that we're giving them lots of playtime, mm -hmm. lots of attention. <laughs> um, keeping them nice and social and if you are going to be introducing her to other pets or kids in the home making sure that that's a gradual process so she stays confident while she does it. Yeah. Oh we love that and what's so nice too is that people can stop by the Capital Area Humane Society and talk one-on-one -on -one with uh, those uh, in your kind of adoption center and talk a little bit about the individual animal that you're adopting whether that is Miss Piggy or the other ones uh, and talk a little bit about you know the care and that kind of thing and you can uh, kind of play with them too if you want to see which one you know loves you too. <laughs> oh. Yeah absolutely if you are interested in her you can come into the shelter you'd be able to visit see if it's a good fit for you and your family and if it is our adoption staff are happy they'll be able to sit down they'll go over all of her information mm -hmm. help to make sure that they set you up for success and you're with her in your new home and then you'd be able to bring her home when you're done. So yeah, pretty awesome. simple process. Easy peasy. And, and what are those hours too if somebody did want to stop by? Yeah, so we're open from 12 to 7 today. Um, kittens do typically get adopted pretty quickly so if you're interested Ooh. in her I recommend um, we're going to be heading back to the shelter when we're done here so stop out and visit us um, but we are open weekdays from 12 to 7 and Saturdays from 11 to 5. All right I think Miss Piggy's already going to have a couple of offers waiting for her. Yeah and what's really cool too because we love to partner with other uh, businesses in the community so if you adopt any of the animals that we have had here on Studio 10 whether that is Miss Piggy or other ones you can get 20% off from Elegant Pooch which is a local grooming business it's valid for up to three months after your adoption. So we've had some wonderful animals on our show, including Miss Piggy. Aww. So if you want that to be yours, then you can get some nice grooming uh, once you adopt. Um, so lots of fun here. But Lexi, thank you so much for always stopping by and bringing us some new friends. Yeah, thank yeah. you for having us. Yes, thank oh my you. gosh. He's like all stretched out and he's ready to explore the, the studio. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks again. And coming up on Studio